next? Yeah, the next show. Yeah. America. Side show two. Jump your point. Oh! Two time champion! No, 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 no. Welcome. Today's video will be about three different ways to start a conversation with people in Japan. Let's start. So, uh, for some of you that don't know, it is common knowledge around here that in Japan, and especially in Tokyo, that a lot of Japanese people are more or less to themselves. Um, well, whether they're on the train, outside, in a cafe, unless they're with their friends, they won't uh, engage w in conversation with people around them that are not their friends. They'll usually just uh, focus on their phone, their books, or just sleep, <laughs> sleeping on the train. So for people that uh, are foreigners that want to come here and maybe talk to some of the locals, it might seem a little intimidating because uh, they are quite it seems put offish, they're a little cold. But in all honesty, a lot of Japanese people are quite warm and kind once you start having a conversation with them. And so this video will be about helping you do that. Um, but a quick disclaimer, a quick disclaimer, this video is not for how to pick up girl, Japanese girls or guys. Uh, this video is gonna be about how to just engage in conversation with uh, Japanese people. So, for this video, we will be going to three different places. <laughs> three different ways, three different places. The three different places uh, will be a bar, a cafe, and uh, just outside. Uh, three typical places where you would normally engage in conversation with people. Some of these techniques, techniques uh, work better than others in different places, uh, but hopefully you will enjoy. Hey guys, I'm back here with my boy uh, DJL Spade. And... <laughs> Alright. Hey guys, I'm back here with my boy uh, DJL Spade. Right here. And uh, today we're going to do three way. Three way! Hey <laughs> three what super. Did you go to <laughs> three super amazing, fantastic, surefire ways of starting a conversation with people in Japan. Is that saying hello? Ah. Let's start. So, the first way uh, <laughs> is to be lost, to, to be in need of help because you are a foreigner. So, if you really are in need of help, um, Japanese people are more than willing to help you. Uh, if you ask for help, even if you if they don't speak in English, they will try their best to help you. Uh, and if you're a crazy person like me or my friend, uh, you can act like you're lost and see if that works. <laughs> American bar, bar, hub, hub. Uh, yeah, where is hub? Sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Do you know where the ATM is at? Yes, sir. Thank you, oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> You're too, too nice. nice. <laughs> uh, UFJ for me. Oh, thank you. I don't know. I don't know where. Ah. 
I've been looking all around here. I'm, um, I'm not from Shinjuku. I live in Chiba. Station is. Yeah. Turn left, go straight. All right. Thank you very much. What's your name? Yabushi. Thank you, Yabushi. Thank you. The second way is uh, quite simple. Uh, all you do is just give them a compliment about their fashion. In Japan, especially again in Tokyo, uh, many Japanese are very fashion conscious, uh, more so than most cities around the world. Uh, it's just it's it's pushed here in this culture and uh, Japanese culture to be fashionable, and so even if they're going out for a simple a drink for coffee or meeting their friends for just a little bit they're going to dress up nicely and they're going to go out in full makeup and are in in full designer clothes and whatnot and again this is not for all japanese people but for most and so giving a simple compliment about uh, shoes uh shirt pants dress hats anything uh will be uh received will be received well by Japanese people and it's a great way to engage in the conversation. That was nice man. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you for dropping my umbrella, Chris. Gosh. Japanese Universe. I learned from Really? Oh, nice. Okay, and the last way, the third way, which is possibly my favorite way, is uh, jonking. Now, jonking in English is rock, scissors, paper. Uh, in Japanese, they say jonkin. And Japanese people love jonkin. Like, from kindergarten to elderly. And uh, it's it's in everything. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I, I'm honestly pretty sure that some high-level companies make business decisions based off jonkin. Like, it's really amazing here. And so, um, just actually walking up to somebody and saying jonkin uh will usually will cause a reaction to where they'll uh, jonk in you uh so <laughs> again this is one of my favorite ways i really enjoy doing this way and hopefully you guys can enjoy it okay you come here closer all right What's your name? Champion. What's your name? Kev. Kev? 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I really hope you uh, enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it. Uh, it's one of my favorite videos that I've made so far. And uh, again, if you guys have any requests of something you would like to see me do next time or anything really, of something you would like to see in Tokyo, uh, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe if you want to. That would be cool. But in any case, I hope you guys have a great day and peace.